Release management is a critical process that helps organizations ensure the smooth and efficient release of software applications into production environments. It involves planning, coordinating, testing, and deploying software releases while minimizing risk and ensuring that these releases meet the needs of end users. Firstly, it helps to reduce the time to market for new software releases, thereby enabling organizations to remain competitive and respond quickly to changing market conditions. It also ensures that new releases meet quality standards and minimize errors, which can help to improve customer satisfaction and reduce support costs. The key skills required for a successful release management role include strong project management skills, excellent communication skills, technical knowledge of the Software Development Life Cycle SDLC, and knowledge of Agile development methodologies. A good release manager should also have strong problem-solving skills, attention to detail, and the ability to work well with cross-functional teams. There are several common challenges faced in release management including managing dependencies between different components of the software application stack, dealing with complex environments with multiple configurations and versions, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements, managing change requests effectively while balancing competing priorities, managing stakeholder expectations effectively throughout the process. The key phases of a successful release management process include planning and preparation, building and testing, deployment, transition to support, ongoing monitoring and maintenance. The role of a release manager is critical in the overall success of a software release. The release manager is responsible for coordinating all activities related to preparing for a new software release including planning activities such as defining requirements gathering processes or establishing metrics for measuring progress as well as testing processes such as integration testing or user acceptance testing. They are also responsible for ensuring that all stakeholders are informed about progress being made towards completing their goals so they can adjust their expectations accordingly if necessary. In terms of major versus minor releases in release management, major releases typically involve significant changes Minor releases, on the other hand, involve smaller changes or fix issues that can be tested in a shorter period of time. To ensure successful release management, there are several best practices that organizations can follow. These include establishing clear roles and responsibilities for each team member involved in the process, maintaining a comprehensive release calendar, automating testing processes as much as possible to reduce human error, ensuring proper documentation of all activities throughout the process, and using metrics to measure success and identify areas for improvement. Release management is often confused with change management. However, these two processes are distinct. Change management focuses on planning and implementing changes to IT infrastructure software applications while release management focuses specifically on coordinating the deployment of new software releases into production environments. Release management can be customized for each organization by implementing processes that align with their specific needs, regulatory requirements and organizational structure. A release manager should work closely with stakeholders across the organization to develop an effective release plan that meets the needs of all parties involved. The specific responsibilities of a release manager typically include planning and coordination of activities related to preparing for new software releases including managing communication between different teams, developing test plans and release timelines, ensuring proper documentation is in place throughout the process as well as monitoring progress towards meeting release goals. One of the major benefits of implementing an effective release management process is that it helps reduce risk in the software release process. By following established procedures and using automated testing tools whenever possible, organizations can minimize errors during deployment that can lead to costly downtime or customer dissatisfaction. 
For beginners looking to learn more about release management best practices, there are several books available such as, Release It, Design and Deploy Production Ready Software, by Michael T. Nygaard, Continuous Delivery, Reliable Software Releases Through Build, Test and Deployment Automation, by Jez Humble and David Farley, The Phoenix Project, a novel about IT, DevOps, and Helping Your Business Win, by Gene Kim, Kevin Baer, and George Spafford. While both ITL and DevOps approaches to release management can be effective for reducing risk in the software release process, they differ in their approach. ITL focuses on a more formalized approach to managing change while DevOps is more focused on continuous delivery of new software releases. Both can be successfully used together to achieve better results in terms of quality assurance and customer satisfaction. The benefits of using ITL and DevOps together include the ability to manage change more effectively while also ensuring that new releases are delivered quickly and meet high standards of quality. However, there are also challenges involved in integrating these two approaches including managing conflicting priorities between different teams, ensuring proper documentation is in place throughout the process as well as maintaining clear communication among team members. Real-world examples of companies successfully using ITL and DevOps together include Netflix, Etsy, and Amazon who have implemented continuous delivery pipelines for their software applications that allow for rapid deployment of new releases while minimizing risk through automated testing processes. Release management is a crucial aspect of software development, and it involves planning, coordinating, and overseeing the release of new software updates or applications. As a release manager, you will be responsible for ensuring that the software is released on schedule and according to quality standards. If you are considering a career in release management, it's important to understand salary ranges, qualifications required for the job, technologies used in release management, and popular certifications. The salary range for release management jobs varies depending on factors such as experience, location, and industry. In general, Release managers in the United States can expect to earn an average salary of around $90,000 per year. However, this figure can range from $60,000 to over $130,000 depending on the factors mentioned earlier. The top paying industries for release managers in the U.S. include software development companies, financial services firms, healthcare organizations, and technology startups. These industries typically require highly skilled professionals who can ensure that their software releases meet quality standards and are delivered on time. As mentioned earlier, the average salary for a release manager in the U.S. is around $90,000 per year. However, this figure can vary significantly depending on factors such as experience level and location. To become a successful release manager in today's competitive job market requires a combination of technical skills and soft skills such as communication and coordination abilities. Some of the qualifications required for a release management job include bachelor's degree or higher education in computer science or related field, prior experience in software development or related field, knowledge of agile methodologies, excellent communication skills, ability to multitask, detail-oriented with strong analytical skills, leadership ability, the technologies used in release management are constantly evolving, and it's important to stay up-to-date with the latest tools and trends. Some of the popular technologies used in release management include, build automation tools like Jenkins, Maven, and Gradle, configuration management tools like Ansible, Puppet, and Chef, source code management tools like Git and SVN, test automation frameworks like Selenium and Appium, continuous integration slash continuous deployment, CI slash CD. Tools like Travis CI and Circle CI certifications can be a valuable way to demonstrate your expertise in release management to potential employers. Some popular certifications related to release management include Certified Release Manager, CRM, from the DevOps Institute, ITL Release Control and Validation Certification from Axlos, Certified Agile Service Manager, CASM, from the DevOps Institute obtaining a certification in release management can provide several benefits, including demonstrating your expertise to potential employers, enhancing your resume and professional credentials, providing an opportunity for continuing education and professional development. The job prospects for someone with a release management certification are generally quite good. Many companies value certifications as a way to demonstrate a candidate's knowledge and skills in the industry. Additionally, 
Given the increasing demand for software development professionals with experience in release management, those who hold these certifications may be more competitive in the job market. As mentioned earlier, industries that require software development or technology solutions are among those hiring release managers. This includes industries such as finance, healthcare, retail slash e-commerce, telecommunications, insurance, software development companies both large and small. Release management is an essential process that involves planning, scheduling, coordinating, and controlling the deployment of software updates or changes into production environments. It is a critical aspect of software development that ensures smooth and efficient delivery of new features, bug fixes, and enhancements to end users without causing any disruption in the system's operations. This technical instruction video will take you through the release management process flow and how it works. We will discuss the various stages involved in the release management process flow, the roles and responsibilities of stakeholders involved in each stage, and best practices for successful deployment. The release management process flow comprises six stages, planning, development, testing, deployment, monitoring and feedbacks, and post-deployment review. Stage 1, planning. The planning stage is where all requirements are gathered from stakeholders involved in the project. This includes the business needs for developing new features or fixing existing bugs. During this stage, project managers create a roadmap that outlines timelines for different milestones and identifies potential risks that may affect delivery. Stage 2, development in this phase. Developers start working on building new features or enhancing existing ones. Project managers must ensure that developers adhere to coding standards and guidelines to maintain consistency across different modules. At this stage, project managers work with developers to identify any potential roadblocks that may delay delivery. Stage 3, testing. Testing is a crucial phase in ensuring that software updates or changes are free of bugs before deployment to production environments. This stage involves different types of testing such as user acceptance testing, UAT, regression testing as well as performance testing. Developers work closely with testers to fix any issues identified during testing before moving on to deployment. Stage 4, deployment. Deployment is where all changes made during development are finally released into production environments. This involves coordinating different teams such as infrastructure teams and network security teams to ensure that there is no disruption during deployment. A rollback plan should also be created at this stage in case of any unforeseen issues. Stage 5, Monitoring and Feedback The monitoring stage involves keeping a close eye on the system to ensure that there are no disruptions and that the new features are performing as expected. This is where feedback from end users is collected and analyzed to identify any areas that require improvement. Stage 6, Post-Deployment Review The post-deployment review phase involves conducting a review of the entire release management process. This stage helps identify areas of improvement for future releases and ensure that all stakeholders are satisfied with the delivery of new features or bug fixes. Release management is a collaborative effort that requires different stakeholders working together to ensure successful deployment. Below are some common roles and responsibilities involved in the release management process flow. Project manager, responsible for overseeing the entire project, creating a roadmap, and ensuring all deliverables are met within set timelines. Developers, responsible for building new features or fixing existing bugs while adhering to coding standards and guidelines. Testers, responsible for ensuring that software updates or changes are free of bugs before deployment. Infrastructure teams, responsible for coordinating with network security teams to ensure a smooth deployment process. Operations teams, responsible for monitoring production environments to ensure there is no disruption during deployment. To ensure successful release management, there are various best practices one can follow. Create a release management plan. A well-defined plan ensures everyone involved in the project understands their role and responsibilities, reducing miscommunication or delays during the release process. Adopt an Agile approach. An Agile approach can help reduce risks by promoting collaboration between different teams involved in development, testing, and deployment. It also allows teams to respond quickly to changing requirements or issues identified during testing. Use automation tools. Automation tools like Jenkins or GitLab CI CD can help automate repetitive tasks such as building code, 
running tests, or deploying code into production environments. This helps speed up delivery while reducing the risk of human error. Conduct regular reviews. Conducting regular post-deployment reviews helps identify areas for improvement and ensures that all stakeholders are satisfied with the release process.